Yeah, boy. Mm-hmm. All right. We are at Shelter Island Pier. No, we are not. Oh, I got salt in my eye. We're, we're not going to fish, as you can see. I bought salt. So, <laughs> we are going to do a catch and cook for you guys. We're here in a pier to rinse off some of the macro that we caught. And uh, we're going to do the process of cutting them open, take all the guts out, scaling them down, and clean them with salt and water over here in the sink. And then we're going to take you guys to another spot and start, you know, frying them up and see how terrible of a cook we, we are. And if we're going to burn a fish, we're going to burn a fish. If not, then we're not. Yeah, uh, the two biggest ones. The pot's only like that big. Okay. Do you want to do the smaller ones or no? It don't matter, dude. Uh, rinse them all off anyways. So tell us, what are you doing? <laughs> um, rinsing all the slime off the fish. <laughs> all that all slime. The, and all the grass and shit on there. Yep. We're only going to be cooking two of them. Pick the two decent sized ones because we got a small pan. <laughs> we're going to make it work. We're going to gut them, cut their heads off, gill them, whatever. I don't know. We can scale them down, get all the slime off. And we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna get on it. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. We're hungry. So when you're washing these guys, you got to be careful. They still got spikes on their, I don't know what kind of thing, their butthole. The anal, the anal fin. The anal so fin. Tiny one. But you got little spikes right there. I'm sure they have some on the top too. Oh yeah. Yeah, so be careful for their spines if you guys are rinsing these guys. Yes, people do eat these macro. Which one do you, you want? Go. Which one do you want? What do you want? Which one? Oh, one? Dang, my bad. Seafood City. He's already got gills hanging out, so that one. Yeah. Let's do, uh, let's do that one. Yeah. Just two. It yeah. it looks like little crustaceans. That's what, yeah, say, they look like little crabs. Yes. Yeah, they're hard. They're yeah. they're uh, like a little, shrimp or a crab. Yeah, a little shrimp on deep in the bottom. Those little yeah. tiny ass shrimp. Have you ever yeah. seen them? Like krill size. Yeah. I saw yeah. a big one though, like this big when I flashed my lights on there. It looks oh, like baby yeah. lobsters. Just, just let us see. Bless them. Bless them. Guts is bugging me. There it is. Oh, you turn the water. Oh God, again. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. If you take out the blood, the blood there, and then the, the dark stomach lining, it makes it taste less fishy. Yeah. Like all that stuff right there. You take that off, it kind of kills the fishy taste. It takes a little bit of it out. Looks like a bloodline, right? Yep. Oh, this way? Yeah. So, if any of you guys ever ate macro before or anything like that, let me know how you guys prep them in the comments below. We're just gonna wing it and throw whatever we have. We might we might marinate it with Cheetos. <laughs> Who knows? But we're gonna Deep give it a shot. <laughs> Deep fried Cheetos, pinko Cheetos. So we're gonna give it a try and let me yeah, let me know in the comments below how you guys prep your fish or whatnot. This is we're just out here just having fun. Gonna give this a shot. Everyone and their mama's doing it, why not us? <laughs> yep. Yeah, check this out. I'm not gonna lie, Saba looks good. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the fish cleaned up, sliced up, everything else. We cleaned up all of our gear. We're gonna get back to the car, load back up. We're gonna find a decent little nice spot with a bench, set up the grill, set up everything for you guys. And we're gonna get to cooking and we're gonna eat. We should have stopped by like a Pen Express, buy some rice. <laughs> That would have been a good idea. Yeah, right. Cook some macaroni. Damn, it looks tasty though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Well, everything looks good when you haven't eaten all night, all morning. All right, well, so we're gonna head over there right now. And we are at the table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's poop. Oh. Come on, people. Pick about your dog. All right, let's see what we have here, guys. We have, boom, some Asian fish sauce. Squid brand. Say it right there. We got the pepper. We got the salt. Oh, what are those? Oil. 
Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> we got some oil. Oh, the chamorro sauce. Yeah, if you're chamorro, you know what's up. Some finna Denny right here. Oh. You know what's up. Fire, right, we gotta set this fire. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, show us what you uh, what you're building here. Uh, it's like a twenty dollar camp cook set from Amazon. Came with a little burner. Uh, I got a little propane tank and a little uh, cook set. Has a little pot, a little spoon. First bowl. time ever using it. First time. Yeah, my the first ever set. catch and cook. You ever light it up before? Yeah, I've lit it up. That's about it. Just see how it works. Yeah. There it is. It's on. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's on. Coming up first. Let's do salt first. And I'll get the salt all up in there. Got some black pepper, some fish sauce. I'm gonna rub it oh, all this, up in there. This heated up like super fast. Yeah, look how thin it is. Yeah. All right, we got it all rubbed up. So we got our fish all up in here. We got the pan going. First fish going in. You ready? Do it. Ooh, sizzling. What kind of oil is this? Olive? Olive oil, yeah. It's good though. Yeah, it does. So we decided to cut the tail on them because they won't fit in the frying pan. As you can tell by our oil spill. Yeah. Boom! So long. Our finished product. Alright. Like this is whack. Right, here we go guys. He's all dirty now. Squid brand fish sauce, salt and pepper, or olive oil. And Vino brought the chamorro sauce, chamorro? Yeah, finna denny. Finna denny? Yep. Garlic, what's in it? Uh, this one was just throw together. Usually um, it's just vinegar, soy sauce, onion, and they usually put green onion and hot peppers, but I didn't have none of that. Take the first bite. Oh, there's a lot of bones. Forgot about that with these macro. There you go, first piece. I'm gonna try it by itself. Not bad, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it with your sauce. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, dude. That's that's. Oh yeah. Are right, you your turn? Let's <laughs> let's have you. All right, you try the tomorrow style. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Vietnamese style right here. All right, just straight fish. I got for the bone. That's yeah, good. Like a lot of people say, like mackerel's like real fishy. No, not fishy at all. Yeah, it's. it's super I mean, flaky. Yeah, it's it's fishy, but it's not like what people make it out to be. You know. Yeah, it's not super overwhelming. Yeah. You taste the fish sauce? Oh no! I'm about to do it right now. I was talking about the, the marinade. No, yeah, yeah, no, a little, it, bit, little bit. It tastes it tastes different than one like I, I'm I'm normally used to. Fish sauce. It's good. I like it. it. Tastes good by itself too. It does very. So you guys should try this. And the thing is, like, it's 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 not that fishy at all, and we didn't even bleed this when we caught it. Yeah. So it would taste. I think it would taste that much better if we actually bled it. Mm-hmm. Soy sauce would have been good. Mm -hmm. It would have been great. Pot yeah. of rice. Ah. <laughs> Trying to go eat after this? <laughs> <laughs> Finish one side, all you do is, you know, grab the, the spine, the main bone. Boom. Right there. I think the best part on here, the crispy skin. Always, dude. It's like fish chips. So, if you guys 
tried mackerel before. How do you guys prep it? What do you guys do? We're gonna try a different fish next time. This is maybe gonna be a little catch and cook series. I might cook a dog, who knows? <laughs> we'll see what happens. If we catch a seagull. I'm cooking next time. Hey, he's up. done, over. Start he's the done. fire. Start the fire. <laughs> So let us know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I should try next. Maybe halibut, like a 12 incher. <laughs> um, yeah, overall it was not bad at all. I eat it again. I'll probably prep it differently next time. It's, it's like a spur of a moment kind of video kind of thing, you know? Like we went fishing, caught some of this guy. We're like, you know what? Let's cook them. We cooked them. And what? We ate them. I recommend it. Um, people eat saba. If you don't know what saba is, Japanese, that's mackerel. They sell them in sushi sushi restaurants. I used to work at a sushi restaurant, and people eat that raw or baked. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it's pretty good. Came out good. I give it a thumbs up. Uh, we'll probably try it again next time. Uh, we'll marinate it differently, and we'll be more prepared. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys already haven't subscribed, subscribe, and let us know what you think. Let me know what you think and what we should do or I should do next. Until next time, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace.